first things first this morning, uh, I went out to let my chickens out, and Randy had already let him out. He's such a, he's the best. He's in bed still, though. But, no, I mean, not that that has anything to do with him being more or less the best, because he is. But I think he got up and let the dogs out, and let the chickens out when he did that, and then came back to bed. So I gave them a big old bin of rabbit poop. That is the stinkiest thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. It's been sitting there for two weeks in the bin because we were gone and I'm lazy and bad at time management, but I'm working on that. Um, working on speaking more kindly and constructively to myself as well. So I'm probably going to later today take the other two bins that we have of rabbit poop um, from our friends with Izzy's Rabbitry and dump that into the chicken enclosure as well, as well as probably a wheelbarrow or two of um, mulch just to kind of break it up a little bit and let them get that compost going because they do a fantastic job of getting all that stuff stirred up and broken down and taken care of. If you hear it clicking in the background, the kiln is still going and the roaring of the fans and air conditioners is just a soundtrack to our life currently. Um, it was so nice uh, visiting Tennessee. All of the reasons aside, it was really nice to be able to sit in houses that had central air. So it's like the loudest thing in the room is the ceiling fan that you can't hear. Like, you know, like, oh gosh, one day, oh, one day we will have centralized air conditioning and heating and it won't sound like the furnaces of hell every time the heater comes on or just the roaring of a wall unit. So that's a nice dream to have for the one day. It does feel good though, because it is another scorcher today. So starting out the day with coffee and editing yesterday's vlog. I'm gonna try to get like a week ahead uh, with vlog posts and then start uploading them daily because um, I've been thinking about, like, I don't know how I posted daily videos over on my main channel. And then I was thinking about it, and I was like, I really gave myself, like, a month of leeway. Ember found a piece of wire. But yeah, I gave myself, like, a month of leeway, because whenever we started, well... It's like she can sense when the camera's looking at her and she's like, hmm, I'm done being cute. I'm just cute all the time. The cats are about to fight. <sighs> Callie's rambunctious and Ember's not. <laughs> um, but yeah, whenever we had started our YouTube channel uh, over on the main channel with like the crafting tutorials and stuff, I had gotten one month's worth of content ready and it was just like 30 days of yoga with Adrian just like sped up time-lapse footage of me doing yoga on my porch like in not a whole lot of clothes honestly um still waking up waiting for this coffee to pull down but by having that month of work prepped I was able to get a lot of stuff done and kind of keep adding it to the back end and then just it took me three three years to burn through uh, that month of leeway time because um, we were still going to conventions and stuff and also used to when I was posting a video a day um, every single day was not a crafting tutorial there were days when um, I was posted about yoga or I posted about the garden or I just did like a live stream hangout or you know something so I'm cutting myself some slack but getting my butt back into gear um, Let's see how this goes. I'm going to start editing a video, though. So for a few weeks now, I've had our onion harvest, harvest of sweet onions, uh, drying. All super fancy, laid about on the old furniture on our front porch. And today, I'm going to braid them up for storing in the kitchen. I've had them drying in the shade. And... Please pardon traffic noises. We live on a pretty busy street. And uh, I wanted to avoid any kind of direct sunlight. And I left all the tops on 
because I wanted to be able to go through, like how hopefully we can see here. Yeah. And we can just be braiding. I'm just grabbing an onion off the top. breakfast this morning is 370 calories and I say morning but uh, it's like 120 in the afternoon um, two eggs fresh out the chicken butt a slight piece of like turkey sausage and a slice of Sara Lee brioche bread cooked in a total of half a tablespoon of butter super duper yummy and I'm thinking about having a second cup of coffee but we'll see
So I go through and weed out all of the little inside bits. I've saved some for crafting purposes, just for using, uh, you never know, you know, when you might be able to use a cute little petal shape. Um, but the rest, since we have such an abundance, uh, I save and I put in Ziploc baggies and then put in a whole bunch of lemongrass, cedarwood, citronella, um, just whatever essential oils that I feel like having the smell of, and I can use it as a loose potpourri um, in the house, but also I especially love using it for uh, tossing into a campfire or whenever we're having a bit of a burn out in the backyard. Um, to help try to help keep the mosquitoes away. I can also, with those essential oils on, sprinkle it around. Uh, I don't do this when I'm out at campground, but um, sprinkle it around in my own backyard just to try to deter some of the some of the mosquitoes that we tend to have around here. And any that don't quite make it like make the cut, like this one just didn't quite cut through. These will be going into our uh, crap boxes. And I've got a bin for that. work time lunch break of another ambrosia apple these guys are big boys hey y'all it's like 11 p.m we had dinner over at a friend's house they fed us so good fresh sweet corn mashed potatoes and like pork steaks and green beans and hawaii rolls or hawaii rolls but anyways um <laughs> it, it was delicious uh but we came home got the rest of our packages packaged up and ready for processing tomorrow and I'm debating between being a lazy bum and going to bed because I'm exhausted and going for a mile long walk. Excuses that I have, uh, or rather things that come to mind that I feel like are excuses are I have a blister on my little toe and that's been bothering me ever since last night when we went on our walk. Um, though it wasn't from going on the walk, it was from the sandals I was wearing all day yesterday. So it's neither here nor there. Uh, and also, there's like, Lazy Vaughn is sitting on one shoulder being like, you know, recovery is important, and you shouldn't overdo it, and you shouldn't push yourself too hard, especially at the beginning, especially when you're also doing a calorie deficit. And then, biggest loser, uh, head coach Vaughn over here on this side is like, Two more push-ups! La la la! Um, I think I'm gonna listen to Lazy Vaughn. She seems much more reasonable. Um, <laughs> so, I'm gonna head off to bed. I'm gonna drink a buttload of water and get a really solid night's sleep. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Bye, guys. <laughs>